Hi, everybody. We're Larry and Tiz Huck, and welcome to today's broadcast. Now, listen to me. We're going to talk to you. Now, hear what I'm about to say with your spirit. We're going to talk to you about Purim. Yeah. Purim is the holiday in the Bible where God takes your impossible situation yes. and turns it upside, upside down. down. This is a time of great miracles. Mm. Your world Amen. is about to change. Every time we're getting ready to do a, 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 the television teachings, I get real excited because yeah. it's it's the truth that we understand. Yeah. It's the truth that we we possess Amen. that sets us free. Yep. And and a lot of people maybe don't even understand the celebration of Purim. Yeah. And that's where we're at right now. We're getting ready to go in the time of Purim. And Purim is one of God's Moedims, Tiz, yes. one of God's appointed times. Mm. This is the time yeah. on God's calendar, and we'll explain it to you, where he takes your impossible situation yes. and turns it yes. upside down. Amen. But besides that, and we teach on Purim every year at yeah. this time, but besides that, listen to me, this is a time where those miracles of turning whatever Haman, whatever the mm. devil is trying to do to you, and turns it upside down. Yes. This is a time this year of incredible miracles. Amen. And I want and we're seeing that right now in our own church. Yes. We're seeing people who have been given horrible reports Amen. by miraculous intervention of Amen. God, those things being turned yes. upside down. So not only is this Purim, yep. But this is, I'm telling you this prophetically, this oh. is double Purim. Yes. This is, this is, I, I'm telling you, it's a time of incredible yes, miracles. And in ancient Hebrew, you know what we always teach. There's no word for coincidence. If you're watching yep. today, I don't care what the situation mm. is. God has ordained you to watch this program yeah. be a blessing to Israel, mm -hmm. and he is going to, in an incredible way, Ooh. turn their stories upside down. You know, Larry, there's so much exciting oh, things I to talk this. about. Oh, I love this. I love this. I know. But, you know, come back to the, to the original message here. Talk, tell the people about Esther, because that's what this whole, whole thing hinges on. Well, Purim, Purim is the story of Esther. Esther, and I know most of you know this, but just to, to, for those of you that don't, Esther is the only book in the Bible, and yes. I want you to hear this. It's the only book in the Bible that never mentions the name of God. Wow. Esther is the story where Haman, yeah. which is the beginning of anti-Semitism, anti-Israel, anti-Jewish people, Haman has... It written by the king, the mm. decree that all the Jews would be wiped out. Mm. Now, in, in, in rabbinical teaching, the story of Esther is the hidden hand of God yeah. or the hidden face of God. Now, now, think about this. Esther is the only book in the entire Bible that doesn't mention the name of God, doesn't hint at the mm. name of God. And the reason is it's a story for us, yes. for all of us. Yes. If you can't feel God, mm. if you can't see how it could happen, if you can't hear God, what are you saying? It doesn't matter. Behind the scenes, yes. and this is the story of Esther, yes. behind the scenes, mm. God is miraculously working. Amen. When everything looks bad, when everything looks negative, when everything looks impossible, yeah. God, this is this. God mm. does this every day. Yeah. But this is a Moedim. Yes. This is an appointed time. time. What are you facing? What mm. Haman has made a decree? Maybe it's a decree against your finances, against your marriage, against yeah. your children, against yeah. your grandchildren, against your health finances. or your body, yes. whatever it is. Amen. What decree has Haman mm. made? Where God, it, 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 you can't feel God, you can't see God, right. you can't hear from God, but I'm, I'm decreeing to yeah. you 
because God has ordained yes. you to be watching Amen. this program. He is going to turn your story Amen. upside down. You know, and we'll we'll get into one of our one of the things we're giving away because I can't teach all this yeah. is the teaching on the Purim where the hidden hand of God, oh. the hidden face of God. But one thing that that we want you to understand and Tiz and I teach this all the time. Whenever God is getting ready to bless you, yeah. he first gives you a chance yep, to be a blessing. To be yep. a blessing. Yep. Now watch this. God has ordained you to be with Tiz and I right now so that we can teach you mm. about how God, just like God used Esther <laughs> for such a time as this Ooh. to turn your story upside Amen. down. And we're going to tell you maybe Ooh. when we come back from the break and in just in a couple minutes or maybe in next week, whenever we have had babies yes. that horrible situation yeah. and a nurse runs in and says, don't do the operation. Ooh. We just reread the report. I'm not, I'm, not I'm talking three this week yeah. of that exact Amen. thing happened. One of our ladies full of tumors full of in tumors. her stomach oh. and, and God turned the story upside down. Finances, whatever it is. Yep. But remember this, whenever God is getting ready to bless yes. you, he mm. first gives you a chance to be, be a, blessing. a blessing. And that's why this project that we're involved yeah. with, with Israel and the government of Israel is an amazing project. And for just like with Esther, yeah. for such a time as this. Mm. Right now, Jewish people yeah. around the world are facing more anti-Semitism, more hatred, more violence, more prejudice, than any other time in history. Lord. Believe it or not, anti-Semitism is on the rise. Yeah. And so there are Jewish, young Jewish men and women, right. older Jews that right. are needing to get out of their country yes. and to obey the word of God yep. and Aliyah, to yeah. return to the land of Amen. Israel. And so God has spoken to Tiz and I. We've already gone over to Israel. Yep. We've met the organization. Yeah. We've met some of the people that have told us their story and by bringing them to Israel mm. has not only saved their lives, yep. but turned their story yes. upside down. Not only is it a righteous thing to do, mm. and I'll share when we come back, it's a prophetic yes. thing to do. Yep. When you and I partner to bring Jews to Israel to turn their story upside Ooh. down, God is getting ready to turn your, your story, story upside down. We've got a report from friends of ours in Israel. We want you to watch this and then Tiz and I will be right back. In the past few years, there's been a frightening surge of worldwide anti-Semitism unparalleled since the 1930s. Across Europe, incitement, desecration of Jewish institutions, attacks on Jewish property, and acts of terror, including murder, are striking fear into Jewish communities. From London to Berlin, Brussels to Copenhagen, Jews are harassed, assaulted, and murdered. The situation is becoming intolerable in France and in Ukraine. In France, violent crimes against Jews have become commonplace. In eastern Ukraine, over one million people have been displaced. In the escalating chaos and lawlessness, Jews have once again become scapegoats, with many anti-Semitic incidents reported. This young Jewish girl describes the situation she faced in the Ukraine. Ten months ago, I made Aliyah with my sister. We are living together in Haifa. I worry about my family because the situation in Ukraine now is really terrible. When I was in school, my classmates uh, told me that, oh, you are Jewish, it's not normal in Ukraine, why you are Jewish? It was very hard for me to speak with them, to describe every time what I do in Ukraine and why I am Jewish. Jewish hatred today is accompanied by a virulent new form of anti-Semitism, demonization of the Jewish state, and criminalizing its very existence. In Genesis, God tells his people, I will give to you and to all of your descendants after you the land of your sojourning and all the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession. Israel has always been the homeland of the Jewish people. Throughout their 2,000-year exile, Jews around the world prayed daily that they would return to the land of Israel. In 1917, Great Britain issued the Balfour Declaration, establishing the Jewish homeland. 
Since 1948, 3.5 million Jews have made their way back to Israel from all parts of the globe. From India to Africa to Europe, record-breaking numbers of Jews are waiting for their chance to Aliyah or return to Israel. Larry Huck Ministries is partnering with the government of Israel in Project Aliyah in an effort to make these people's dreams a reality before the political climate changes and their chance to return disappears. Pastor Larry has personally met with some of these new Israelis who told him of the persecution they suffered before making the decision to leave family and friends behind to start a new life in Israel. We need your help now to facilitate the transport and integration of every Jew who wishes to fulfill prophecy and Aliyah to their biblical homeland. What part will you play in making the Aliyah project a success? You know, it, it, it's not only something that we see on film. We've been over to Israel. We've talked to these people. And we're going to, through the Israeli government, they're going to open the door for us to go to Ukraine, yeah. to go to France, to go to wherever, yeah. and to meet these people that you and I are going yeah. to help fulfill the Bible prophecy. Amen. Now, our announcer is going to tell you about some gifts. And we have some really... Probably the most yeah. incredible gifts yes. that we have ever given. Now, I know that God is speaking to you about helping these Jewish people come to Israel because you're part of fulfilling yeah. Bible prophecy. Just like God said to Esther, for such a time such as this, time. you're watching and you're partnering yes. with, with us to bring these Jewish people mm. to Aliyah. I'll mm. explain that in a minute, to the land of Israel. Yes. You're going to turn their story upside down. God is going to turn your story upside Amen. down. 